An I team investigation has discovered a state website designed to help parents check out whether the daycare where they send their children is safe. It may not tell you the whole story, not even close. Chief investigator Alan Cohn has an example of a Bay Area daycare center with dozens of complaints, yet you wouldn't know by checking out the Department of Children and Families website. They are our pride and joy, and there is nothing we wouldn't do to protect them. And if you send your kids to daycare and want to check the DCF website to see whether there is a history of complaints, you might not find much of anything. Yeah, I think my wife, she did shake them out. But not because it isn't there. These are dozens of complaints and reports of problems at Bradenton's All-Stars Early Learning Center. Complaints and reports that don't appear on the Department of Children and Families website. I think it's excessive. 57 violations over uh, a year is a lot of violations for any child care center. Sharon Oaks is director of operations at the Early Learning Coalition, an independent agency which subsidizes the cost of daycare for needy families and has paid All Stars over $200,000 over the last two years. A contract now canceled, the coalition says, because of complaints it and DCF have received ranging from toxic substances that were left out, different types of violations to that degree. A lot of child uh, health and safety concerns, background screenings not done for um, staff that were on site, records that were not up to date, um, insufficient ratio supervision for the number of children that were there. All Stars was fined $100 last year for having an unscreened worker caring for three toddlers. Okay, what is going on here? How can there be so many complaints and it's not reflected on the DCF website? Well, the I-Team has learned about what could only be described as a loophole in the state law. Well, in the state of Florida, the licensing for child care is directly attached to that location. That's right. DCF licenses the location, not the person who owns or operates the daycare. So when All Stars moved around the corner from here to here, its record of complaints was effectively wiped out from the state website. This is All Star. Right. And this is the only location that you're talking about now. Right. So when we asked the owner of All Stars, Ella Powell, about all those complaints, this is what she told us. You used to be located around the block. No, we, we, we weren't located. That was a whole different center. And that's exactly the argument Powell made to the Early Learning Coalition in September when trying to save her contract with them. In a letter to the coalition, she wrote, When we moved into our new facility, our understanding was simply that we are starting out fresh. Terry Durdala of DCF says, in the eyes of the state, Powell is correct. How could this happen? Um, well, they have their violations um, under their location and they have paid all of their fines and then they have rectified when they move. Oak says DCF may erase All Stars' history of complaints but says the coalition standards are more rigid. All Stars was cited by DCF in April of last year for not having criminal backgrounds on two employees, cited again in December for no background check on three other employees, cited again for the same reason in February of this year. Okay, because there seems to be a location. lot of complaints that, that employees are not well, screened. Where, where, do you, where did you get that information from? From the early learning coalition. Okay, the early learning had no business even telling you any information on me. Last week, the early learning coalition says it terminated its contract with All Stars after the daycare rejected an offer to be placed on probation. A move the coalition says because of repeated violations parents we talked to weren't even aware of. I, mean, I didn't know anything about it. Since DCF's initial inspection last June, the state hasn't cited All Stars for any new violations. But DCF tells the I team parents should not rely on its website as the only tool to check out a daycare center. The state says that parents should go to the daycare center, talk to the director, and most importantly, ask for references. Yes, yeah, certainly good advice there. All right, thank you, Alan. And don't forget, if you have a story idea you would like the I team to investigate, just shoot us an email. The address: I team at ABC.